Buongiorno a tutti. My name is Susan Herman, and I'm the president of the American Civil Liberties Union, usually known by its acronym, the ACLU. The ACLU was founded in 1920, right after World War I, in response to a number of very serious civil rights and civil liberties abuses that had taken place during and right after World War I. Uh, one of which was Attorney General Mitchell Palmer ordered what are now known as the Palmer Raids, where he rounded up and deported thousands and thousands of non-Americans who were living in the United States, including many Italians, and deported them, uh, detained them in what we thought was really an unreasonable detention. Also during World War I, there were a lot of prosecutions for people speaking and speaking out against the war or against the draft. So the ACLU was founded to really defend freedom of speech, due process, and many other values. During our first decade, during 1925, one of the first major cases that the ACLU litigated was a case on behalf of a Tennessee school teacher, uh, Mr. Scopes. And this was a case where Mr. Scopes had been prosecuted for teaching evolution. He dared to teach Darwin in a state, the state of Tennessee, where what he was supposed to be doing was teaching children that the story in the Bible of how the world was created was literally true. Well, we won that case in 1925, and then 80 years later, we had to litigate a very similar case in Dover, Pennsylvania, where a school board decided that what should be taught in school was intelligent design, which, as we convinced the court, is not really a scientific theory, it's a religion. So I think you can already see that our two organizations have a lot in common. I thought that you would be interested in knowing one thing we're working on currently, which is a case against the United States Patent Office. Now this is a case involving a habit that our patent office has developed of patenting genes, as in parts of DNA. There's a company called Myriad Genetics, which figured out a test for mutations along two genes, BRCA1 and BRCA2. Uh, mutations that are correlated with uh, an increased risk of hereditary breast cancer or ovarian cancer. Now, Myriad Genetics developed a test, and it's perfectly fair that they should be given a patent on their test, because they did create this you know, very useful thing so that women can find out whether they're at risk for cancer. However, the patent office, in addition to giving them a patent on the test itself, also gave them a patent on the human genes involved which means that this company now owns those genes. If some other scientist wants to do a test on those genes to try to uh, see if they can figure out some different test, perhaps one that would be less costly, they're not permitted to do so under the terms of the patent without permission from Myriad Genetics. Well, we think that that's a violation of our First Amendment principles, that it stifles scientific expression and scientific testing, and that it also interferes with the right of women to make their own decisions about what's happening with respect to their health and their bodies because they can't even get a second opinion about their, their um, risk for breast cancer or ovarian cancer. So we brought a lawsuit against the United States Patent Office claiming that those patents are both illegal and unconstitutional. If you'd like to know other things that the ACLU has been doing, we are a multi-issue organization. You may be aware of the fact that during the past eight years, we've been very busy trying to resist the Bush administration's policies of detention and torture and overreaching surveillance. You could look at our website, aclu.org, to see what else we've been doing. But I think you can tell just from the couple of examples that I've given you that our organizations do have common interests. So I'm glad that we now have discovered each other. I hope that we'll be able to collaborate in the future, and I wish you a very successful conference. Grazie.